Have you ever had your car stuck in one gear, shifting rough, or refusing to move like it should? Most drivers immediately think, oh no, my transmission is done. But what if I told you that sometimes the problem isn't your entire transmission, it's just a small part inside called a solenoid. This little electric valve controls how your transmission shifts. And when it starts acting up, it can make your car feel like it's on its last legs. Even though the fix might be much simpler than you think, in this video, we'll go through how to test a transmission solenoid step by step using simple tools you might already have at home. You don't need to be a professional mechanic. You just need to understand what to look for, how to stay safe, and what your results actually mean. By the end of this video, you'll know how to tell whether your solenoid is the real problem or if it's something else entirely. So let's get started and save you from spending on components you don't actually need. There's no harm in getting to know the transmission solenoid first. Some of us might think it's not that important, but here's a quick explanation. The transmission solenoid is an electrically controlled valve that manages how transmission fluid moves through the system. In simple terms, it tells the transmission when to shift gears by opening and closing tiny passages inside. So when you press the gas pedal, the solenoid helps decide the right time and pressure for each gear change. But when it starts to fail, the transmission can't engage the right gear at the right time. And that's when you'll notice hard shifts, slipping, or even the car getting stuck in limp mode. Before you start testing, make sure you have a few basic tools ready. You'll need an OBD2 scanner that can read transmission data. This helps you check if there are any trouble codes stored in the system. A digital multimeter will come in handy for checking basic electrical readings from the solenoid. It's also a good idea to have your car's service manual or a simple repair guide nearby. This will show you where the connectors are and which wires or terminals to check for your specific vehicle. A set of basic hand tools will help you reach the connectors safely. And finally, always make sure your transmission fluid level is correct before doing any tests. Low or dirty fluid can give you the wrong results and make the problem look worse than it really is. Start by connecting your OBD2 scanner to the car's diagnostic port and turning the ignition on. Give it a few seconds to read the system and then check if there are any stored trouble codes. If you see codes like P0750 to P0770, those usually point to shift solenoid circuits the parts responsible for controlling gear changes. Codes from P0740 to P0744 are often related to the torque converter clutch solenoid, which helps your transmission lock up smoothly at higher speeds. Take note of which code you get, because it tells you exactly which solenoid might be acting up. And keep in mind, sometimes the problem isn't with the solenoid itself, but with a dirty valve body or a clogged fluid passage that makes the solenoid work harder than it should. Next, pop the hood and take a close look at the transmission wiring harness. This is where many solenoid problems actually begin. Inspect the connectors and wires carefully. Look for any signs of corrosion, loose or bent pins, broken insulation, or fluid contamination around the connector. Even a small amount of dirt or moisture can interrupt the electrical signal and trigger a solenoid trouble code, even though the solenoid itself might still be perfectly fine. So before you start testing with tools, Make sure every connector is clean, dry, and properly seated. Sometimes that's all it takes to solve the issue. Music 
Now, it's time to check whether your solenoid coil is still in good condition. Start by disconnecting the solenoid connector, then set your multimeter to ohms mode. Touch the probes to the solenoid terminals and measure the resistance. Next, compare the number you get with the specification in your service manual. Every car model can be a little different. As a general rule, most solenoids should read between 5 and 30 ohms. If your meter shows infinite resistance, that means the coil is open. The circuit inside is broken. If it reads 0 ohms, that means it's shorted out and no longer functioning properly. For reference, a Toyota Isen solenoid typically reads around 11 to 15 ohms, while a GM 4L60E solenoid often falls between 20 and 25 ohms. This quick test helps you tell whether the solenoid itself is bad or if the problem lies elsewhere in the circuit. If your resistance reading looks good, the next step is to check whether the solenoid actually moves. To do this, briefly apply 12 volts to the solenoid terminals. You should hear a distinct click sound. That's the valve inside opening and closing. If you don't hear anything, the solenoid might be stuck or burned out. Just remember, don't keep power applied for too long. Do it for less than a second to avoid overheating or damaging the coil. This simple test confirms whether the solenoid is still able to respond when power is sent to it. If your solenoid clicks, but the transmission still shifts the wrong way. The issue might not be electrical. It could be mechanical. In professional workshops, mechanics use a scan tool to command the solenoid on and off while watching how the fluid pressure or gear response changes. If switching the solenoid on doesn't affect the pressure or shifting, that's a strong clue. The solenoid is stuck inside, or there's a clog in the valve body preventing fluid from flowing properly. Even if you can't perform this exact test at home, understanding what it means helps you explain the problem clearly when talking to a mechanic. Now that you've completed the tests, it's time to make sense of what the results mean. If your multimeter shows no resistance or an infinite reading, that means the solenoid's internal coil is burned out. Electricity can't pass through it, so the valve never activates. In this case, the only solution is to replace the solenoid. If the reading is zero ohms, or extremely low. That means the coil is shorted internally. It's drawing too much current, and if left connected, it could even damage the transmission control module. Again, the fix here is a new solenoid. But what if the solenoid clicks when powered and the resistance looks perfect, yet the transmission still shifts harshly or refuses to change gears? That's usually a mechanical or hydraulic issue. The valve inside the solenoid might be stuck from debris or the valve body passage it controls could be clogged with dirty fluid. In those cases, cleaning or rebuilding the valve body often solves the problem. Sometimes, everything about the solenoid checks out fine, but the check engine light and trouble code keep coming back. When that happens, don't overlook the wiring harness or the TCM, transmission control module. Damaged wires, corroded connectors, or weak grounds can mimic a bad solenoid and cause false readings. And finally, inspect the transmission fluid itself. If it looks dark, smells burnt, or has debris in it, that's a sign the problem may be deeper. Contaminated fluid can affect multiple solenoids, not just one. A fluid flush and filter replacement can often restore smooth hydraulic operation and prevent future solenoid sticking.
Before blaming the solenoid, always check your transmission fluid first. Old, dark, or dirty, ATF can make solenoids stick or respond slowly, even if they're not actually bad. Sometimes, a simple fluid and filter change is all it takes to bring your transmission back to smooth operation. So before replacing parts blindly, take the time to test your solenoids the right way. It can save you hundreds of dollars and maybe even your transmission. If this video helped you, hit like, subscribe, and watch my other videos, 9 Symptoms of a Bad Torque Converter, and see you in our next video.